what we're going to be doing is looking at how to create, how to turn a teaching point or a concept or an idea in a presentation outline and how to make it very actionable, tangible steps that we're able to apply to our life to help our viewers and students to be able to find lasting change in the the programs that we provide and the videos that we record. So um, here we are just documenting the process as we do it so as to not make it awkward to think that we have to record this to train because we don't know what we're doing. We're just um, kind of putting this together. I'm showing Tina how to do this and anyone else who's watches, I hope this could be a blessing. So the subject that we're looking at right now is finding archaic synonyms, and we're trying to figure out these are the locations where to find them, but we don't show them how to use them. And we will likely show them how to use it in the video, but what if we did a little bit upfront work in the outline and we identify what are the steps? And so instead of right now looking at five, that looks overwhelming when we look at what, what uh, yeah, those five points. Mm -hmm. So let's look at one and let's okay. take that one and don't move on until we complete it. It's like the principle of inspiration says, in order to be successful, we must do one thing at a time. Yeah. So we're going to look at meditation. Meditation is good. The TSK is good. But we're, we're like, what Bible language would God use for the word anxiety? Um, describing to me, make it like actually type in the word. Yeah, and then who was someone in the Bible that had anxiety or was put in a stressful situation? So we would want to reword that. That's an example, and we want like if we're creating a worksheet, when then we're we creating like, um, you know, what we should have we should have creating worksheets next to this. So I'm gonna put that on the left. Boy. So we have, so this is a list of assignments type of things that we could do mm -hmm. to give them, and these are different formats. So let's pick a format that we're going to use and do this. I think a format that would be good would be um, a list mm -hmm. of thought-provoking questions that they can fill in the blank. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. simply because that's the one that I'm most familiar with so far, asking questions. And there may be some better ones in the future, but that's what we got for now. So we'll do that. And so we'll give them a list of questions. Here's an example of some actionable steps. And then when we name it, we can look at these watchwords for naming this stuff. And um, all right. So we'll look at these examples as we go. Okay, what Bible language would God use to describe your subject? Who was someone in the Bible that had... Anxiety? Or was it so we want to take out the word anxiety. That's the example we use in Livecast. But for a worksheet, we want to make it like niche-proof or subject-proof. Like, um, who was someone in the Bible that went through... The same situation or similar situation? Y yes. Yes. Who went through a similar situation or experience? Mm -hmm. Through a similar, similar situation. This is a part where the Holy Spirit brings to our remembrance. Um, and we can think, oh, oh, but that's not the Bible. Is Okay. The key is, the goal here is we want to try to just find one verse. If we can find one verse, we will have an unlimited supply of other relevant verses. That's a promise. If we can find, or I'll say, if you can find just one verse, you'll then have an unlimited supply of, rele of relevant verses. other relevant verses to your subject. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. You'll never run out of verses to... Um, of relevant verses to look up, to search for. You uh, from this point forward, 
from this point forward, you'll never run out of relevant verses to look up in the Bible. <laughs> What if we use the word treasure hunting? In treasure the hunting? What? Yeah, because yeah. that's what we did in the last live cast. Exactly, so we're able to reuse that. You'll never run out of relevant verses to, look to up. what if when we call this? Treasure hunting. Like treasure hunt for. You think when treasure hunting or, or to treasure hunt? Um, relevant verses. Um, see, you'll never run out of relevant verses to treasure hunt for. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, from this point forward, you'll never run out of relevant verses to treasure f hunt for um, on, on this subject, subject again. That's a we promise. You need to like, put that into the worksheet. Yeah, how, you're saying? Or we, we need, need to. to. Yes, I agree. That's why I wrote it there. So this is kind of like the worksheet type stuff. Mm -hmm. um, why does it say think takeaway? Where? This. I have no idea. Major takeaway? Was it one takeaway? What was it supposed <laughs> to say? I have no idea. I don't know. Teaching points. Takeaway. Oh, it didn't even say that. I mean, it was just... Um, Maybe... Um, takeaway I action go. step. Well, I'll get rid of that takeaway. It's, oh. it's just supposed to be takeaway action yeah. step. So I what if we do takeaway actual step um, and worksheet? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah, because uh, the the actionable steps is what we want. To, um, even if you just mention them in in the video, mm -hmm. people are still want, gonna want to know exactly how to do it. They They're will. gonna forget it if they don't purposefully write it down. When you think about this in the long term, what is gonna happen is each of these teaching points is going to be a video lesson in a course. Mm -hmm. And we want to use this live cast as an opportunity to create the worksheets for our course. All right. Um, Takeaway action steps. Takeaway action steps or worksheets. What did we say? Okay. Who was someone in the Bible who went through a similar situation or experience? Mm. Um, should I? Should we do like a header three and do like a uh, foot meditation there and for the next one? I was thinking about that. Yeah, that sounds good. Oops. So you know what we just did with this uh, this portion? If you can find one verse, that we incorporated a small win. Mm -hmm. By giving them, we gave, we set a goal in their mind. We gave them a definite aim and fuzzy targets don't get hit. So now we clarified what the goal is at this first step. Then they're like, one verse? I can find one verse. And then they're encouraged when they have the verse. It's like, yes, I got it. Now what? Because really, when they're just looking at this step, you're like, find archaic synonyms. Here's resources. And they're like, oh. yeah. Um. <laughs> See, that's what we'd be doing. But instead, we're like, all right, you want to find archaic synonyms. Here's some resources. Resource number one, this is how you use it. And we're training them to equip them with the sword. Like this is powerful. And this one little video could go be in a daily live video. Mm -hmm. And it can go on, on the platform to teach people. That's powerful. Oh, and these little benefit statements that you that, that you created, we can use those as a title for a daily live video. They could go on YouTube and uh, be on the podcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that neat? But what's cool is everything starts here first and then trickles over there. So the people that are on the live cast, they get this live up front first. Mm -hmm. If you can find just one verse, you'll have to, you'll then have an unlimited supply of other verses. Okay, um, what is another question that could be asked to, um, in meditating on the scriptures? The Like a um, question framework like, who, what, when, where, why, sometimes how. So questions start start with who, what, questions that start with why or where. Um, um, write down a list of, um, write down a list of, um, of words that kind of go 
Oh, oh, okay. So you're it's like, like it's the source, but in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like brainstorm. Yeah, brainstorm ideas. Brainstorm a list of of um. But uh, other, yeah, like potential synonyms or other synonyms. Um, synonymous words meaning the same thing. Brainstorm a list of synonymous words meaning the same thing. When I'm using different watch, when I incorporate a word that I think that someone may not know what that means. Should we create a number list? Yeah. We can. I'm alright with that. And turn it into a numbered list. Mm -hmm. It just makes it a lot easier to follow. I think this should be a bullet though if we have if we're using yeah. numbered list. What just happened? Oh, things to do for this month live cast. Um we so uh needs to be a bullet. update the header for all five um teaching points actionable steps we added the word um, worksheet All right. now where oh where oh bullet you did it okay good brainstorm a list of synonymous words meaning the same thing as your subject as the subject you wish to understand. Subject you wish to find treasures in. Mm, it's a little bit long. Yeah. Understand is probably better. Okay. Read some of the list of five synonymous words meaning the same thing as the subject you wish to understand. Mm -hmm. Um What's another thing that we could do for meditating? Where? Who in the Bible? Oh, okay. That's already a question. Who is someone in the Bible who went through a similar situation? What are the different types of like, like if you can categorize scriptures, what would they be? Like you have some promises. Are there promises that we can think of? Are there... Mm. Um, I know people don't know them, but they want to try to find some. Um, oh, another place they can find them is from their notes. That's like another source. Um, your already existing notes. Some people might not have a lot of notes, but yes. But what? But at this point. What we're doing is they create they're creating a sloppy list, like at least just in the progression of how we've taught mm -hmm. it so far. They create a sloppy list, they should have some stuff. So in those verses, they might be able to find things, but um yeah, they might not have them. But another thing we can consider is this could be a subject to just explain to them already, like the repeat and enlarge mm -hmm. on similar concepts. Archaic synonym might not make sense to them the first time they hear it. But the third time they hear it, they might get it again. So you're already existing notes. Should, should I say in your personal encyclopedia? Yeah. Your existing notes. Um, or let's just say existing notes in your personal encyclopedia. There you go. And I like, I like putting a little phrase like that to let people know it's a watchword. Mm -hmm. Oh, how love I thy law is my meditation all the day long. Because you meditate on them. Object lessons. What are object lessons? No. That would be more like a sloppy list type thing. List of synonymous words meaning the same thing as a subject you desire to understand, you want to understand. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's okay. it for meditation. So we'll move forward. Don't want to spend too much time because we, speed is definitely something we want to we want to use. So then we have TSK. That was the next one. Okay, treasure scriptural knowledge. 
um, when oh yes yes when you find one verse when you find your first verse look it up in the TSK so since this is a watchword and it'll be new to people uh, people yeah people need a reminder it's treasury of scriptural knowledge wait treasury of scriptural knowledge oh yeah okay mm -hmm. so we're teaching them we have to train them through repetition uh, to deepen the impression of these new watchwords okay. when you find a verse look it up in the TSK um, I really feel bad for people who don't know how to study and are not aware of the the tools that are at their availability. So, mm -hmm. how does the TSK? Why why does the TSK help people to find archaic synonyms? Why? Um, um, why does it help? Looks like it's lunchtime, so we will do this later. Ooh. Wow. All right. We'll we'll come back. 